Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Thursday, October 19th, 2023. A day of infamy. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, this is Dale Woods, an editor of Woods & Wave Report and Day Trader S&P 500. As always, we want to get our YouTube subscribers caught up with our newsletter subscribers. It's been a couple days, so without further ado, let's get right to the U.S. 10-year. We are looking at a daily chart, and uh, as we said, our target was, uh, what, 5.1%. This is the 1618 for this fifth wave, and uh, it just about got there. It's not quite there yet, but everybody freaked out on TV when it almost hit 5. Maybe it did. I don't know. This is after hours. I got a 5.001 right there. Okay, this is um, Thursday night, uh, just short of 8 p.m. Eastern. Anyway, there's our trigger right there that wave one high that went above this high and our longer term target is up there at 7.255 but we should hit this 5.100 first and then retrace that and then go up to the 7.255 so everybody's freaking out but we've been on this for a long time okay let's go to the s p cash we are looking at a daily chart we have the uh, fibonacci time zone we'll get into the time spiral and all that but from the b wave high here we have a one down with a circle a two up by the way that hit on the fibonacci time zone of 1.00 down here in the blue the september 1st hit right on the 1.618 fibonacci time zone on september 1 then we had a one down that was off by uh three or four days i guess from that uh what was that 927 and it ended up making a low on 10.3 by the way there's a little difference between the s p cash and the futures not a big difference but a little bit and this is one of them okay that was one down then two up was on the 18th in the cash and that uh, fibonacci time span from trading view was the 18th and this was off by one day it topped on the 17th and then you can see we're going down from there okay so from that 9-1 high, I think we'll get it. Well, anyway, from this high, we've got one down, two up. And this third wave with a circle around it is subdividing our extended. Extending, there is wave one down, there is wave two up. Okay, there is the higher retracement targets. That's the trigger. We like to do triggers and targets. Customers of newsletter subscribers are loving it. Okay, so uh, there's our, our trigger which is the 43.93 high, a move above that brings this higher target into play. And where is it wrong? If it, it cannot retrace more than 100% of the first wave, so it's wrong if it does. 45.41 is the make or break right there. Okay, so as long as that holds, we're looking at a wave three down, wave three of three. I don't have that labeled here, but I have it on the on the newsletter later but we have a one down and a two up we have one down two up here here's our trigger here at uh, 4216 and we've got these third wave targets and we have another um, higher degree of trend which I have on the uh, on the newsletter pick which we'll get to okay but um, that's what we're looking at there any move below this wave one low brings the wave three targets into play let me uh, let me just go there real quick so we stay on uh, on topic here let's get that special number this is on the S&P cash we might as well do that here October 19th okay triggers and targets so there's the Fibonacci time zone which is on the chart right here those are those dates in blue are those those targets in blue with the dates that's the one I just went over okay that has uh, 1018, which we already discussed. The next one in the time zone is 11.9. I've only been using that for a few months. These Fibonacci time spirals I've been doing for over 25 years. That has a turn date of 1024, which is only three trading days away, and then November 16. Okay, we'll get into that a little bit more. Here you can see that uh, there's the chart there. There's one down and two up, and there are the targets there. Okay, from the B wave high, we've got the uh, 43.93 over here that's the trigger we'll get into all of that um, it, it appears the Fibonacci time span uh, identify the wave too high with a slippage of one day target of 1018 actual on 1017 next one is 119 
and uh, here's where I get into uh, this here. This is where I have it from the 91 high. We've got a wave one down right here at 42.16, a wave two up at 43.93. Again, that's the trigger, and those are the higher targets. All right, there's a 6.18, the 7.86. Where is it wrong? When two goes above the start of one, two in parentheses. Okay, if we take out this wave one low at 42.16, then that brings the uh, wave three tar. Well, it brings it activates this bigger wave three and there's wave three targets in there but near term we've got a one down and a two up and here's the wave three targets right here okay interestingly we got 4195 on both of them and even of more interest is this wave three target of 4101 in the 1.618 multiple okay there's the wave three targets from the 4393 high i think i should have put a parentheses on that there they are there they can see the wave three that's really there okay and there you see the targets there uh confirmation that the bigger wave three come is in play is when the wave one low is broken okay and there's those targets there beginning with 4269 which we have over here okay so that's the um that's the wave count there there's the, the second degree highs at three different degrees of trend this is a third of third of third wave down as long as the second wave high holds if it's broken then it's only a third of third at two degrees of trend i want to get uh into that if i can right here okay i'll just read this third waves are the strongest and most powerful they can are sharp and swift can take on any fibonacci multiple that they choose it's usually not just a one or a one six one eight but i've seen the two and the three and even higher the market is vulnerable and could collapse any day now or may do so over several days that's what we see the thing there. that's what we're looking at uh, our next two uh, turn dates in the sequence of 1024 and 1116 it's possible 1024 could earn could mark the bottom on or near that date for a wave three at one degree of trend and then the 1116 uh, marks the bigger third degree trend wave if you will okay but that's the um that's the cash rack there. Let me get back to the charts and go into the ES. Here we have the same thing on a daily chart. You know, we've got one down with a circle, two up, and then one of three and two of three. Again, there's that trigger, that wave too high. And that came on the 12th. I think that's one, two, three, or four trading days there. That's that Fibonacci time zone. That was just off a little bit and off a little bit over here. It missed this wave three low by a day. But uh, a move above the 44, 30, 50 high means this two is higher. There is the wave two with parentheses higher targets. I think this went just a, that should be below there. Um, it's got the 618, the 786, and the make or break is a 45, 97, 50 high, okay? So there's one down in parentheses of three with a circle. There's two in parentheses of three with a circle. And here's the wave three targets here, okay, for um, that degree of trend. Again, the next turn date in the Fibonacci time span, which I've only used for a few months. And, of course, we have our Fibonacci time spiral, which I've used over 25 years. So that is the uh, daily chart. Let's get into the hourly of the ES, and we'll use it from that. Let me just, there's the wave two high with a circle at 9-1. So we'll drill down. There's a wave two with a circle of nine one. We have a one, two, three, four, five for a larger wave one. We have a ton of direct hits within you guys can see. Well, let's make that a full page, make it much easier to see. There we go. Um, yeah, we had this one within four and a half, uh, this one within a little over one, this one a little less than one. This one was eight. That's a little bit of a stretch, but this one was uh about two and a half. So anyway, here's our um Wave two high from that wave one low, an ABC correction. We've got a one down, a two up, and here is three developing. As you can see, it has already reached the 1.00 at 4334. Uh, the 1272 is 4309. It already reached that. Here's the 1414 at 4297. And there is the 1.618. Let me make that in there. We go the 1.618 at 42.78 and three quarters. 
and we had to put it in there to 2.618 at 4189 because it said these third waves can take on uh, any Fibonacci multiple that they choose. So we'll see. You know, the, the only way it's not a third of third of third wave down at three degrees of trend is if this high on wave two is broken to the upside. Okay, so let's uh, get out of that. Let's see. Uh, I want to make this. This is a little bit easier to see if we do it like that. Okay, see that was in right there. We just had to make it a full page. But you can see the uh, on the daily chart here. The uh, wave two targets to make or break and the wave three down targets and there's that 11.9 I think we have 11.16 on our Fibonacci time span so I want to show you guys the uh, the end of day report on the um, special interim there post market close on the ES futures pretty much the same thing but different numbers again there's our there's our turn dates like I said this time tested over 25 years this is time tested over a few months okay at least by me it's it's relatively new to me you can see those two turn dates there okay there it is from the uh, wave B high up here and that's off that circle there one down two up and then one two and then three you got there that's the daily and then um, again the market is oh I wanted to speak on that for a minute the market is vulnerable and can collapse at any time if there is a collapse, I'll just let you guys look at this while I talk. Traditionally, historically, it starts on the Wednesday before. Wednesday has to be a down day, and it was. Okay, let me just get a daily chart up here. Okay, these are daily here, right? Okay, that is Wednesday. I'm sorry, that's Tuesday. It started on Tuesday. Okay, usually by Wednesday, you get a down day. We started on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, we got a down day. Thursday is a bigger down day, and let's see, what is this? Tuesday is a decline of 1.35%, and this one is 0.9, so it's not, not quite bigger, but it's still a, a relatively um, large decline. And then we've got Friday here. So if this is like collapses in the past, then Friday will be a huge down day. No guarantee that will be, no guarantee that there's gonna be any kind of collapse, but if there is, then we'd expect Friday to be a big down day and then Monday rolls around and um, the market if it's a huge down on Friday makes the news transcends all the news and the market is the top story of of the national news and then everybody sees it and they go they uh, go back to work on Monday morning and then they just start selling because they panic all right and then you get a that's where the crashes have happened Monday slash Tuesday Monday is an even bigger down day than Friday, which everybody thought was the biggest down day. And then Tuesday makes a lower low, and they call it Turnaround Tuesday, and then it reverses midday. I've seen that, not even just on, on crashes, but on lows. Okay, you get a, a Thursday low, a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a big low, Monday an even bigger low, and that's historically when the crashes have occurred. And then Tuesday, you get an even lower low, and then the buyers come in and it does a snap up rally on turnaround Tuesday. No guarantee that's going to happen in this case, but so far so good on this thing setting up for this third of third of third wave. Again, where is it wrong? When it goes above this wave too high. Bigger wrong when it goes above this wave too high. So we have our parameter set. We have our triggers and upside targets. We have our downside trigger and downside targets. And we'll see where that play or how that plays out should i say okay let's get back into here you can see there's that uh, chart there um yeah we had these targets here and it, it did uh extend we were looking for a third wave extension and it did and that's what we're looking at so let's just take a peek because i'm looking live yeah there is uh friday okay and i've got uh 2002 so it's um 802 here in the eastern time zone Okay, we'll see how Friday slash Monday plays out. And uh, uh, good luck, everyone. I hope you guys hang in there. We'll see what happens. We have our parameters. We have our make or break. So we're ready for anything. Okay, until next time, take care, everyone.